All right. Um, Coach, first of all, what do you think you learned from last season? Um, that's a good question. Um, I think, you know, I think we had a, a, a tremendous team last year. Um, and I think that we learned uh, how important those those final games are, you know, whether it was in the bean pod or, um, you know, semifinal games or, uh, you know, games leading up to those to those big games, uh, how important those games are and how important um, finishing on our scoring opportunities is in, in those games. Um, and that's something that we've started to talk about already with our with our kids. Um, looking back on last season, do you think you would – obviously it was a wildly successful season um, in terms of regular season wins, but is it kind of difficult to think about it as a success when the only really like tangible measure of success is trophies and in the three, the Bean Pot, uh, Hockey East, and National Championship, you came up short in those? Is yeah, it you know, I um, – it took a while uh, to, to kind of, you know, after after the season was over and – you know, you gotta, you kind of process it all, and and uh, you know, we did so many good things, and that's what I we tried to look look to um, w with that season. You can't say that it was, uh, you know, although we would want to win those trophies, and obviously that would have been ideal. Um, you know, we we did come up a little bit short, but there were also some great things that came from that season, and and uh, hopefully we can build on those. Uh, and hopefully get some trophies this year. Mm -hmm. um, how do you anticipate this season will be different from last season, both uh, on the ice or if you've seen something different with the team off the ice? Um, you know, I, I think our, our players, our returners have learned from last year. Um, they learned what, what's, you know, uh, that every day is, is an important day. Every game is an important game. Um, and, and I think... Hopefully we'll we'll use that to our advantage. Um, we have five um, leaders on our team and sort of a leadership council, if you will. And and uh, I think they're gonna, uh, you know, they learned from last year and are able to pass that along to the younger kids and especially the freshmen coming in. Um, so hopefully that will that will help us uh, get you know be even better this year. Uh, have you been impressed by what you've seen from the freshman class so far? Yeah, um, they work extremely hard. You know, they came in, um, and 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 they've, uh, I think, done a great job of uh, of of you know being a part of our team and 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 gelling with their teammates. And and uh, I think that uh, I'm impressed with 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 them right now and how hard they're working and and how they're uh, you know melding into our system. Okay. And uh, lastly, if you had to pick, I know it's tough, but if you had to pick one quality that will most help your team win a championship this year, which one would that be? Mm. Um, one quality, huh? Um, I would say, I mean, it's tough. You know, we, we um, I think, I think grit down when it gets down to it is grit. You know, we have grit, um, we have determination, we have competitiveness, um, but in those games, you know, in those final games, and that's what we're trying to drill home in those in those semifinal games and those final games. It's who can who can get that puck to bounce their way, um, you know, to, to to put it in, and and those are the important things when we get down to it. Coach, um, with a team that has accomplished so much in the past, uh, how do you set expectations uh, for the season, um, as far as I mean, you guys have been through so much. Uh, what do you? How do you set those expectations? Yeah, it's it's uh, it's certainly a challenge because we're we're getting to the point where I, you know, the kids expect to to be successful, and which is a good thing because um, I've you know when I first got here we were on the other side of that where we weren't weren't expecting to to be successful, um, and and I think the, these kids know that that takes hard work, you know, and and that. It takes uh, 24 of them to be able to get along in the locker room and for you know six some odd months um, to to uh, to meld together and to be a unit of one and and I think they're uh, I think that's that's the expectation right now for us is to get this group going uh, together and and as a team um, and then. You know, obviously, it's hard not to have that national championship in your sights, and that's something that 
obviously every one of our kids wants, um, but there are steps along the way that we got we to gotta attain before we get there. Uh, looking ahead to this weekend, you don't typically play Western opponents, and you have two against Minnesota Duluth. Can you talk about the different style of play when you play Western opponents, and um, will your game plan change at all, um, the fact that you are playing a Western opponent that you don't usually play? Um, yeah, no, we're excited to, to play a team from the WCHA. You know, it's tough to um, – we've had trouble getting getting uh, scheduling games with them, so it's exciting to be able to, uh, you know, to play them. Um so we'll play them this year and next year. And, um, you know, they're going to be a physical team. They're going to come at, come at us hard. Um, and they're two very important games. So it's, it's uh, interesting to start off the season with these two, um, you know, such important games being out of conference from the WCHA. Um, you know, these games are, are just as big as, as some in, in uh, you know, in February. So, um, you know, I, we got to be ready to go. Um, you know, we've had a week of practice with – with uh, you know one one uh, well, we could practice with the coaches on on the ice and uh, you know I think our kids are are fired up and and ready to go and geared up for these games. Um, and my last question: uh, Can you just talk about um, the Hockey East in general this year? I mean, Hockey East is always a competitive uh, conference. And uh, what will you what do you expect to see from from the whole conference this year and um, from some of like the BU's, the Northeastern and stuff like that? Yeah, I think uh, I think the level of talent continues to grow um, in women's hockey in general, and I think in um, in the Hockey East, it's 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 grown too. Um, you know, BU Northeastern are going to be very good. Um, they have some very talented players who who are you know vying for a Patty Kazmaier and 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 on Olympic teams. So um, they'll be uh, they'll those two two teams will be very good. I think uh, Maine will be good. They they work extremely hard and they know um, you know they their coaches have them going in the right direction to be successful. So there's I, I think no matter who you play, you have to be ready. You have to be up for every game. Um, and and. Uh, you know, and I, I think that's important. I think our kids need to learn that, that every game is, is just as important as the, the one that they just played.